You like gold, right? I think we all like gold, so today I was fascinated to discover that earthquakes actually create the largest gold nuggets on the planet directly from quartz. This comes from a brand new scientific study that was recently published called Gold Nugget Formation from Earthquake-Induced Piezoelectricity in Quartz. And it seems really complicated, but the take home here is actually very simple, which is that earthquakes make gold. So if we want more gold, we want more earthquakes, that doesn't seem quite right. But let's scroll down to the details on here. As many of you may know, quartz is piezoelectric. That's why we can use it in watches. That's why it generates gold and other minerals when it's exposed to electricity. And geologists have known for a long time that earthquakes can produce bits of gold on quartz. However, this new study shows how it can turn into such large prized pieces. So as scientists would say, gold forms on quartz all the time. The thing that's really weird though, is that the really large gold nugget formation, we didn't know how that worked. How do you get such a large volume of gold to mineralize in one discrete place instead of individual atoms being sprinkled around here and there? And the answer is actually earthquakes. So quartz is one of the most abundant minerals on the planet. It's in the ground, the seafloor, just all over the place. So whenever the tectonic plates shift and we have an earthquake, that pressure between them squeezes the quartz and generates electricity, electricity so much that it can actually make gold deposits like the one that you're looking at here. Apparently, about 75% of all gold mined on Earth comes from deposits found in the fissures of quartz. So to put it simply, if you shake quartz, it makes electricity, and if you make electricity, gold comes out of it. And this process is amplified by earthquakes because what's happening is an earthquake will happen and squeeze this quartz together and it'll make a little layer of gold and then sit there for hundreds of years. And then another earthquake and we add another layer of gold and then another earthquake and we add another layer of gold. And this fissure of gold in the quartz just begins to grow and compound over time until it turns into those lovely nuggets that everybody is always trying to mine out there at those little tourist traps in California.